Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to do another floating bloom. <laughs> yes, another one. <laughs> However, this is gonna probably gonna be the last one for a while. Uh, my last floating floating bloom I did with the uh, nickel azel gold background. I mentioned that I kind of wanted to do you know a set of four and kind of like pull some colors from you know each of them at least one color so that they kind of tie in together and so this is going to be the last one I want to do kind of a the I think I want to do the PBO blue green as the background so I'm kind of excited to complete this little series so let's go get started with this floating bloom so I've got my uh, 12 inch vinyl here and I'm going to run through the colors really quick and the pillow and the cell activator and then we will get to painting. So the background color I'm going to use for this piece is the PBO Studio Acrylics, the iridescent blue green. And I've got this, I've got a lot mixed up. This is my Infinity Joe Sonia because I wanted it a little bit thinner. And then my next color, I've got a little bit left, is Quinacridone Nico Azel Gold. I've got a little bit left mixed up. This is my Valspar Verithane Pouring Medium. And then I've got another <laughs> mixture of the, the, the iridescent blue-green. I'm using it as a background color, but I also want to use it as, uh, as a color. And I think this one is mixed up with my Valspar Verithane. <laughs> Go figure. And then I have a, I created a color. I started with the PBO Studio Acrylics, the Iridescent Blue Black. And then I had a sample of this uh, Golden High Flow uh, Quinacridone Magenta. And so I added just a few drops of it to come up with this color here. So I started with the iridescent blue black and then I just was adding drops of that magenta just to just until I got it how I liked it but it has this really pretty uh purpley blue undertone so there's that color and then my final color is going to be the Matisse flow magenta And this is mixed up with my Valspar Verithane. And that last color, I don't know if I mentioned the, the custom color, that was Valspar Verithane Pouring Medium also. All right, my cell activator, I am, I'm gonna be using my white cell activator, my normal white cell activator, the Australian Floetrol uh, in the Amsterdam Titanium White mixed at four to one. And then my pillow is gonna be my Glidden Premium in Satin. And all of this information, I, I used to have it at the beginning of my videos, but I've moved it to the end just for time's sake. And, you know, um, just a little bit easier uh, to see the video first. So I thought it might be better placed at the end of the video. So if you're looking for it, it is at the end of the video now and also in the description box down below. I'm going to spread this out really quick and I'll be right back. All right, I've got the background color, the PBO blue-green iridescence, and I think I'm going to start right here. Oh, there we go. That's all right. It's going to be a little bit lopsided, but that's okay. We're going to move it out just a little, and I'll add more. I'm going to bloom right here. And I'll just add more color over this way. I always make just more than enough just in case I need a little bit extra. And sometimes I just can't get a perfect circle. This is definitely, not. it's more like a, I don't know, very loose triangle. <laughs> All right. The first color I'm going to lay down for the bloom, though, is going to be the Quinacridone Nickel Azel Gold. Put that right here. And then I'm going to put some of this iridescent, the, the blue-green, mixed up with my other pouring medium. It's just a little bit thicker. I like to have the background color thinner because it, it, it just spreads easier. It doesn't uh, hesitate to spread. All right. This magenta blue-black 
interesting color I concocted. <laughs> And then the magenta. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this background blue just right here. Um, as, as I'm blowing out, I just don't wanna hit into the white. Cell activator. That's plenty. my straw out for help. All right, that looks pretty good. I like how that blew out. Looks like I have white all the way around too, which is what I want. I just want to, as soon as the middle comes up, I just want to move it kind of back into the center a little before we start modifying. Right. Put just a little bit more background here as I bring things out and right here. I think we're sh we should be good. All right, let's play. I've got my skewer and my palette knives. out just a little just enhance it just a little looking like. I think I want to bring this out. 
out just a little. Get under there. That did not do what I wanted it to do. Sometimes it doesn't work the way you want it to, but we're just gonna go with it and make some cool modifications to make up for it. I kinda like how that is ribboning though. Rip this out here. Like that. And I think I want to do that over here. There we go. All right, I'm good. I'll meet you over at the spinner box and we are gonna see what comes of this. All right, here is what this looks like before we start spinning it out. I'm just gonna spin slowly at first so I can adjust and then we will go from there. center a little. I'm going to lose some of these tendrils, but that is okay. Oh, I see a piece of schmeh. We don't want that in there. Okay. All right. I think that's pretty well centered. I am going to give it a good spin. Really? There it is. Yeah. All right, just another like a little, yeah. I don't want it going too far off, but it opened it up so nicely and you could just see all the all the detail in there. Oh gosh, I love this blue. <laughs> See how am I doing on movement? I don't have a lot of movement at all. I think we're good. I think we're there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner times a thousand. Oh, this is so cool. All right, I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this one. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the floating bloom we just did. And it dried beautifully, just as you saw it wet. I did, I did get a little bit of uh, something in the background paint, but overall I'm not concerned with it. So let me... Let me show it to you as a whole first before I start moving it around. But I really, I love this blue. I mean, it is just so pretty. And the bloom, it looks like it's jumping off. The white behind it is just, just how I wanted it. Just how I could have envisioned it. So it, uh, it really will make for a nice uh, piece in the, in the four 
four part floating blooms that I had wanted to do for this. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to resin and frame them all. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or sell them yet, but I just love all the, the little swishies and movement. And <laughs> I was looking at this, it kind of looked like a little snail and a snail head right there. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't get as much of the, of the blue in there that I wanted to, but overall, I think it just, it turned out pretty cool. And for some of the, you know how I love those little micro cells <laughs> and they, they stay held on. So this was, this was really a lot of fun to do. I really like this one. I love this. Have I mentioned I love this blue? <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments below uh, of this whole floating bloom series. I was, I've really been having a lot of fun with this. I mean, it's, it's kind of a challenge to keep it from going off the edge, but that's, that's half the fun for me. And, uh, but I'm sure I'll bring it back another time. I'm, I want to try and go bigger with it, but for now I'm going to give it a rest. I've got some other things I want to work on. So, uh, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really had a lot of fun putting it together. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.